Hey everybody, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios and welcome back to another video. I'm on my computer right now and this video is based for PC players. If you play on the PC or are looking into getting a PC or basically getting a laptop and trying to run Call of Duty World at War, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how, how to install custom apps and be able to run custom apps using the UGX mod. Now I have a copy, this is a legitimate copy, this wasn't downloaded through BitTorrent, this is actually from Steam, I can show you guys right now. Now, that I do own, I do own Call of Duty World at War, and I have it right here. I played 52 hours of it, so it's pre a pretty good damn thing, because I love this game. So, I'm gonna show you guys how how to mod um, Call of Duty World at War. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is that I'm gonna show you guys the files where you guys can can go and see that I don't have any mods installed or anything like that. I don't have anything installed that will alter the game at all. So, we're gonna go into we're going to go into program files 86. This is where usually Steam to, needs to install. So you need to go make sure that you open this file first. I recommend you doing this, preparing this first. So you go, you guys can open two windows and do it instantaneously. So we're going to go into the folder named Steam Apps. We're going to go into Common. And we're going to see all, all the folders of our games. So we're going to go to Call of Duty World at War. And you can see that there's no additional files that shouldn't be in here. In here. So we're in the stock of the folder of stock of the game. The game hasn't been altered in any physical way and there is no engine of UGX mod. So the first thing you need to do is to get it prepared is to have the game definitely downloaded. Make sure everything's installed and run fully well. If it runs perfectly then you're okay. Um, so we're gonna bring this, this, this mirror down and you need to go into your browser and you need to go and type in ugx-mods.com UGX You don't have to put forms, just put ugx-mods.com I'll have the link in the description and you guys can definitely check it out So you're gonna need, you, you do need to um, have a UGX mods um, form account All you gotta do is sign up, I'm already signed into mine and I did this previously before I started the video so my information didn't get you know token. So, huh. so the first thing you want to do is when you're on the website and you see you see, see all this, you need to click zombie maps. Don't click any other thing. Anything here, you will see all these maps here. But we're here to install the UGX mod and the Team 45. Um, um, we're only the UGX mod. I'll show you guys how to do um, the Team 45 in a bit. So the first thing you need to do is go back up to the top. You'll see custom apps, models, and tools up here on the top, right before the tabs, and you need to click that. When then, then we're gonna go into is go into the little tab of the subform called Mods Released Releases. This is gonna take you to this page, and you're gonna see two different ones. You're gonna see see more than War Modification T4 M45. There's a lot of maps that require this, and there's a lot of maps that require this. So we're gonna go on and show you guys how to install the UGX mod standalone. A lot of people are confused about this, and they pretty much rely on the actual launcher itself. I personally don't like the launcher because it's just more space, and I just don't like it. And it's just more complicated. So what you need to do is go in here, go into download and documentation is right here where I'm highlighting. So once you actually go at that, you're gonna have to go into the UGX, click that link that says UG Mods. It's gonna UG Mod, and it's gonna take you to this page. This page is not gonna be found, unfortunately. They haven't updated the link. They did move it, so you're gonna have to click the one that says down here, UGX Mod Standalone Version 1.1 Installation Guide. It's gonna take you to a specific guide, and it's gonna right here below. There's gonna be a little red line here, blah blah blah. And this, if you rather install manually, install UGX Mod Standalone. Blah blah blah. Not recommended. Even though this is not recommended, I highly recommend it. I've been using it for many many months, and I had no problems with it. It is kind of buggy, so some some maps won't let you start it. But you know, it's it's either it's on both sides, so it doesn't really matter. So once you click, click that link to, to install it manually, it's gonna ask. It's gonna go down, and there's this link is right here. You need to click it, and you need to save it. So. While this is saving, we need to open another tab and we need to download 7-Zip. So the first thing you want to do is download 7-Zip because we're going to be installing as well the T4M um, T4M uh, modification mod. So this is going to allow you to play maps that that require you to uh, to to be able to run those maps. Because there are a lot of I played a lot of custom zombies maps in um, ever since I've been I knew how to mod and. Um, a lot, and uh, m many of them required required you to instantaneously, you know, 
have this installed and it really sucks because a lot of people always mess up so we're gonna we're gonna install this it's gonna take a few seconds to install once it's done we are done so now we actually have the UGX mod standalone um, and um, already downloaded so we can just open folder right now because we're gonna need this fold this this thing open right now and we're gonna go to the world war what war, war t4m45 what's gonna do is gonna go all, all the way down and there is gonna be a two different downloading click the think the first one is gonna take you to media fire if at any point that you watch this video and it's no longer um, uh, let's close this because it was being stupid. Um, if it's no longer available on Medify, then click the down bottom download one. If it's not available at all, contact the 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 forum or the the creator to update and up upload the uh, the uh, the file for you. Um, but I'll have all these links. You guys can grab them in the links in the description if you guys definitely want them, and you guys can definitely do it. So once we're actually done, once we actually download that. All we have to do is close the internet browser. We're gonna have to open, we're gonna have to go into our downloads folder and we're gonna extract the standalone first. That's the first one you should always worry about because it's a little bit more complicated. So once you extract, it's going to extract and it's gonna take a few moments. It's not gonna take that long depending on how fast your PC is. So if your PC is really, really damn slow, then this is gonna take a very good amount of time. But if your PC is moderate and we're good, then it shouldn't take more longer than about less than two minutes, less than two minutes or less. Um, it could be less than, it could be 30 seconds, it could be any time. But as long as it's less than two minutes, then you'll be fine. So we have that 89%. So right now, since that one's doing it, we're just gonna extract the, we're gonna go to 7-zip and we're gonna just extract files. It's gonna do it really quick because this is not a big file. But once it's actually done, the UGX mod standalone is done, we're gonna actually Go ahead and bring this down and we're going to bring up our call of duty world at war folder now the reason i told you guys earlier to have this open is because it makes it much more easier to copy and paste or move to this folder so what you need to do is instantaneously is is highlight all of these options and you're going to need to move them to the call of duty world at war folder make sure that you have them all selected and once you select them all you need to do is move them to the call of duty world at war folder they shouldn't ask you to, to overwrite folders unless there's an update and you already have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, you shouldn't be given any option of overwriting something unless you need to. So once we so once we did all that, we have the UGX mod fully installed. I know this is complicated for many, but if you guys need any help, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely help you. So we're gonna go on the Team 45. Now you're gonna see a README, and this README will basically um, tell you on how to install it. But if you want a more in depth, all you need to do is copy these two files that I have highlighted and move them to the same folder that you moved the UGX mod in. It will ask you. Oh, we launched the game by accident. We launched the game by accident. My apologies, guys. Let me. Let me. So, uh, my apologies, it kind of launched it for some odd reason, I have no idea. So once actually you have it, it's going to ask you to replace the file in the dis in the destination. And it's going, you just confirm it, it's going to move, and then there you go. You got T4M installed. When you do launch Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty World at War won't, logo won't show up. It will just launch, and there you go. You can be able to now install custom apps um, easily and anything else if you guys do want to show me want me to show you guys on how to install custom maps directly um, then let me know in the comment section below by dropping a like and as well let me know in the comments all the links to all this is in the description so if you guys definitely want to try this out for yourself this is perfectly safe and it's as even they say you always back up your files but personally and who, who doesn't I never do so I generally kick I, I play custom zombies maps all the time so it's pretty much worth it and it's pretty much the simplest thing all you need to do is just be is run the game after make sure the game is not running when you do this because if you do this while you're running it you can screw up the game and as well you may not be able 
to do anything at all because the game is using the files. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, this is a very raw video. I'm not going to do any editing to this. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. As I said, all links are in the description. You guys can check it all out there. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.